Hi guys, what's up? Jane's Casino, Chocolate Man in Thailand. What's going on? I'm here at Bangkok Hospital getting my final Pfizer vaccine. Got it today. Too easy. Same, it's pretty much the same process. You go in, you fill out your little questionnaire. Are you, have you been sick? Uh, you know, did you have any reaction? Have you had a vaccine before? Blah, blah, blah. All the same standard stuff. You show them your passport. You show them you had to, you were supposed to bring in this little green slip, which is funny because they didn't tell anybody to bring that back with them, but luckily most of us did, even though there was nothing official on it. It was just a green piece of paper with a date, but anyway, it's all good. Brought that in, you know, they throw you in the elevator, send you upstairs, and this time it was weird because they didn't do any blood pressure or temperature checks this time. That was that was a little odd. I wasn't expecting that, but yeah, they didn't do that this time. You just go in, you go upstairs, you sit down, you know, they uh, take your passport, put you in the system, give you a number, go get your vaccine, go sit and wait, just like you did last time. But this time at the end, they finally give you your actual certificate, which is awesome. Nice. Got my vaccine certificate. And I even had them sign my yellow shot record. Only thing I didn't like though is, uh, they didn't mention this before, but they won't give you both signatures for both your shots. They'll only give you for the day you were here. So I would have had to have brought this in on my first day when I got my shot, but oh well, at least I got one signature in there and I can show them my World Health Organization authorized thing here with uh, my vaccination. Plus I got my actual hard copy here. They were like, yeah, make sure you take a picture of this thing, keep it in your phone. You can use it as your, you know, just as your proof, but uh, you're still gonna need this hard copy. So this, I might have to get like laminated or something because I don't want it. I don't want this thing to fall apart over time. It's my only record, you know. You could always come back to the hospital and get another one, but yeah, that ain't gonna do any good if you're out on the road. Big news, big news in Thailand. So all kinds of stuff happened today. Uh, news came out today. So as of October 1st, the, the uh, National Health Department is recommending or has approved or something along that lines. I'm not sure if it's official yet, but they're saying that on October 1st, you're either gonna have to be able to prove that you've been fully vaccinated or you're gonna have to have a current COVID test, like an antigen test or a nasal swab before you can go into like a restaurant or any other high risk areas, restaurants, you know, anywhere with confined space like that indoors, you're gonna have to show proof that you're vaccinated or have had or have a current test, a current negative test. That's crazy. Also more funds going on. The seven plus seven program on October 15th, hopefully this will happen. On October 15th, the seven plus seven, which means you come into Phuket, after seven days in Phuket, you can go to any other approved province, but on October 15th, it could be up to 25 places throughout Thailand to do your last seven days of quarantine, including Chonburi, the home of Pattaya. That's awesome. More details on that. I'm gonna put links below for all this stuff. Don't take my word for it. Just read the news stories or check out my Facebook where I had all that information. That's some good looking, that's some good stuff. That's some forward progress. Again, they're talking about uh, full opening end of October or maybe the end of quarantine completely by January. We'll see what happens. It's all based on herd immunity, the numbers, etc. But when you're you're busting out 800, 900,000 vaccines a day, a day, y'all, when you're busting out those kind of numbers, all kinds of forward progress, it's looking good, looking really good. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I just wanted to update you guys on a few things, let you know I got, I'm fully vaccinated now. We'll see if I get sick. You know, a lot of people say that the, uh, the Pfizer, the second shot is the one that kind of makes you feel sick. So we'll see what happens. I don't know, it's been, a, been an hour, I don't feel anything, but all grave. Again, I can't compliment them enough here at Bangkok Hospital, the way they handled this whole vaccine rollout here at the hospital for Pfizer was awesome. But I was talking to a gentleman who was one of the guys here, one of the professionals, one of the uh, one of the wranglers, I guess you want to call him. He actually was a subscriber to my page and he watched my videos. He was telling me that, uh, yeah, Pfizer is pretty much done for them. They're waiting for more doses. They don't know when they're going to get them. They're not sure when they're going to get them, but hopefully they'll get some more. But they say they got plenty of AstraZeneca coming. They actually did uh, 300 seats at the Central Festival Mall today as well. 300 seats for foreigners only. 
of uh, AstraZeneca, which is cool. So a lot of people were able to get their first or second jab of AstraZeneca at, uh, at the mall today. That's awesome. Anyway, all kinds of good news, all kinds of progress. Loving it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go eat. I'm hungry. I'm out of here. James Casino, Chocolate Man in Thailand. We'll see y'all. A little later. All right, y'all. What's up, James Casino, Chocolate Man in Thailand? Yeah, just, uh, just you know, we ain't being far. We're about to go out and eat. Is there surveying the damage out here? Look at this. Somebody's yacht washed up on shore here. That's crazy. Yeah, definitely some crazy storms yesterday. I hope you guys caught the live feed. If not, uh, the link's still there. You can still catch it. I'm going to unlist the video, but the link will still be there. You can go check it out later if you want. Still a lot of trash out here, but boy, am I going to applaud the ties today. They've already got the big, uh, they've already got the big vehicles out trying to clean things up, and there is a massive effort. Like, they've got all the Thai lifeguards. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. They've got all the Thai lifeguards out there picking up trash and uh, filling up a front loader over there and dumping all the trash into a truck and taking it away. So they're really trying to pick up all the debris, which is awesome. And then this craziness right here. Wow. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen a big boat washed up over here. That's interesting. like a pretty nice boat I don't think it's damaged I just think it got beached over here it must have uh, broke free from its anchor or moorings or something and floated in here I don't think it's taking on any water completely salvageable that's a good thing we're expecting a lot more rain again tonight so I don't think they're bothering to fill this stuff in they're just gonna leave these uh, these washouts where they are for now I'm thinking we'll see what happens all right, let's go get some. Let's go get some lunch. We're hungry. What's up, cute Thai lady? You ready for food? Ooh, look at look at Fa's custom shirt. She's styling. <laughs> Did you make that yourself? You make yourself? Yes. yes. <laughs> Nobody can hear you. You're so quiet. All right, putting in some new piping and stuff here. This is right before Walking Street. Yeah, they're doing some big construction over here. Still trying to handle that water. Good luck to them. Uh, looks like we had a landslide here. Yep. Yep, big landslide right here. Crazy. So much water. No surprise with the size of that storm. Yeah, they just cleared this road out, looks like. This road was probably just completely inundated with the mud. Crazy. Brought the knock hill sliding away. That's a lot of wind, y'all, or a lot of rain, y'all. A lot of mud on the road here, too. I'm not sure where this came from. Must have washed down here from uh, up the road. There's no, there's no slide over here. Well, it looks like this beach fared pretty well. Not bad at all. Looking good. A few mudslides here, small ones. Not too bad. This is looking a little rough. Yeah, I would say just a little bit of water came through this area. 
Look at that. This thing walked over this a thousand times. <laughs> Would have been a bad day to be there yesterday or last night. Can't imagine the amount of water that had to flow through here to cause that level of damage. That is pretty crazy looking. Yeah, when you look at it from this angle, you know, it doesn't look too bad. And then you just, just pan around just a little bit. I mean, it's complete chaos right here. All the sewer piping and everything just completely destroyed. I like the force, the power of the water coming out of here must have been absolutely insane. That is crazy. Let's see how long it takes them to fix this area. I will hand it to them though. I mean, the cleanup crews are on the beach. There are people picking up trash here and there. Progress. A little more damage out here. Yeah, there was definitely some water flowing through uh, Dong Tong Beach last night, that's for sure. Craziness. Washed out the roots so bad, these trees just fell right over. That is nuts. figure out where this water came from it must have came over the top somewhere but it doesn't look like this area was really flooded over here interesting so did it come from drain pipes underneath somewhere or what but yeah you, I mean there was obviously a lot of water flowing through this area somewhere underneath or over the top not sure crazy looking yeah, I cannot tell where this water was coming. It must have came over the, maybe it was, you know what, it probably came off of that soy there behind those buildings. So there's probably like a river flowing down that earlier. Wow. All right. Anyway, we're gonna go over here, check out the, uh, Ganju, Ganj Coffee, Rabbit Resort, Patia. Okay, so looks like the Rabbit Resort has gone Ganja. We'll check it out here after this car going way too fast. Okay, hope you hit that speed bump go that fast. Hit it, hit it. Oh, that would have made my day. Anyway, all right. Check out the Cannabis for Health Cafe, whatever it is here at the Rabbit Resort. Looks good. All right, found us a comfy little spot right here. We wanted to sit over there, but it's just a little bit too bright, so we'll just chill over here. Maybe the sun will go down a little bit and we can move. Not a bad view, though. That'll do, right? Nice. Works for us. Huh? Oh, the food menu? They just brought us out dessert. I guess they didn't know we wanted to eat lunch. <laughs> but look at the menu, though. Look at, you know, like I tell you guys all the time, the color pictures. Color pictures, selling the food. Ooh, premium quality gelato. You know, I'm in love instantly. Very nice. Custom coffees, yeah. Takeaway menu, I don't know why they give us that. We're not taking away. <laughs> Drink menu, then here's the big food menu. Pretty good. Got some spaghetti dishes, some burgers, sandwiches, fish, all the goodies you can think of. Oh, they got a backside too. Oh, yeah, soup, appetizers, nice. <laughs> you can get everything with cannabis. Nice. Up to you. One cannabis, up to you. I just noticed here, okay, I was looking at the Western menu. They also have just a Thai food menu. <laughs> a 
So all you concerned about my health, I can get just Thai food, not Western food. Nope, I'm gonna order Western food just to make you guys mad. Shock, fog got a chocolate shake again. So surprising. It's so original. How's it taste? <laughs> Did you get cannabis inside? No? Try again. Yeah, you gotta try again just to make sure it's okay. One more try. <laughs> eating her whipped cream. She can't get enough. All right, here's his Fa's food, of course, first round. A little piece of garlic bread for my lasagna, my Western food lasagna. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. I'm about to go back to the States and I'm still getting Western food. That's how I roll. So it looks like Fall got like some spicy salmon. Doesn't that look tasty? Of course, my food always look better. Okay. Rice. Okay. There's my tasty little lasagna. That looks good. Look at her. <laughs> it's my food. Look at all the. She got all this food over here. All that food, and you still looking at my food. <laughs> Crazy lady. Get away. No. No. Little bit. Again, she's trying my food before I even get to taste it. No, that's her excuse because you have to take picture. Mm -hmm. it, it. Eat your food. All right, we're digging everything about this restaurant except for this. I asked for a gelato. They have gelato on the menu. They got a cool looking picture of gelato and a cone up there, but when I ask for gelato, they bring me this thing. <laughs> this little cup thing. I don't know. It's probably like a friggin' hundred baht for this thing. Whatever, you can't win it all. Okay, there's the damage. Not bad at all. 961. We got a full far. I got a full belly. If we had this view, I'd say it's well worth the price. All right, far, what'd you think? Did you like your food? Pretty good? I <laughs> <laughs> all right, not a bad meal, not a bad meal at all. Like I said, that little ice cream was kind of kind of small, but it was it was tasty. I give it that. It was tasty. Other than that, everything else was just perfect. Really good. Can't beat the view here. Atmosphere really nice. They got the they got the reggae music going. I mean, you can get literally cannabis and any kind of food you want. We didn't get any cannabis though, except for maybe her chocolate shake, but whatever. Anyway, James Afar, James Casino, Chocolate Man in Thailand. We'll catch y'all the next one. So I have to take back what I said on my live video earlier about no flooding in Jump the Inn, but it looks like there's a lot of a lot of flooding out here still. I mean, it's been probably 12 hours 
since the last rain and this is still flooded. Pretty crazy. Huh, I didn't know it flooded in Job Tien. That's different. It is what it is. I guess there is no escape. 